hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys this news comes as a surprise to me because i've always held the contrary to be the case so i've always been of the view that there are more uh, women in this world and especially in nigeria than there are men just really by the by the ratios of uh, male to women in terms of relationship i've always been of that view and i think i read that st statistic somewhere some time ago so i've always been of the view that the global population is like about 55 percent male and for uh, female rather and 45 percent male so now this comes as a surprise to me now so guys i bring you this see how women are reacting to the report that males outnumber females in nigeria so that's the headline see how women are reacting to the report that males outnumber females in nigeria so now here's the body of the story the population of the world hit 7.7 .7 billion the united nations population division said on monday according to the world population prospect released by the un on monday the medium variant projection indicates that the global population could, could grow to around 8.5 billion uh, in 2030 and 9.7 billion in 2050 and 10.9 billion in uh, uh 2100 so that's uh those are the figures so the fine data also shows that male outnumber females in nigeria and the world as a whole negating the popular belief that women outnumber men in the west african country so that goes on to tally with what i had always suspected or been of the view of that there are more women in nigeria than uh, there are men so the they again they find data also shows that males outnumber females in nigeria and the world as a whole negating the popular belief that women outnumber men in the west african country there's a report flying around social media claiming male outnumber female in nigeria and is getting a lot of reaction the report allegedly made by the united uh, nations population division states that the population of the world has hit 7.7 .7 billion and in nigeria males now outnumber females women seem to find this uh, bit of information interesting see some reactions below so these are some of the reactions first off is anesh p anesh p is the name of this uh, particular respondent or at least their handle guys calm down don't worry we will marry you all one gele equals six gayoyo my ladies how unasiam so that is that one opening the uh the fire to the men so d yay nigerian women we can now marry two husbands men will go to shilo to pray to find us tables have turned so now the girls are just going in with the they are just mashing us down with their high heels now it's just uh claws drawn and you know no 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 mercy so this is uh oluwa familiar men are scarce men are scarce rush rush me yeah, yeah. most of you just like to feel relevant last last men are still more than women even in the world at large at large rather so chill nobody is rushing you we will pick the man we want at the right time so now the tables are now turned and they are giving us a kicking uh this is uh karima karima is the name of this uh particular respondent and they will say if i marry only you who is going to marry the rest women are too much yeah 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 now i can marry three guys without stress loving this so it's just daggers drawn and claws drawn this is evans now a brave guy who is daring to respond so let's see what evans has to say i don't think that's the problem based on data men are really more than ladies globally however a handful number of them are priest and gay that's where the gap is thus the ladies still outnumber the men technically in terms of pairing and relationships so i'm not quite sure what logic this one is trying to apply but it's not a logic that really flies so this is chief mommy there are also reverend sisters and lesbians too there is there there 
there ain't no gap so this one is quick just to slap him down with the same logic that he was trying to apply romona i have always said that the population of male outnumber the females i've always believed that now boom so they are just celebrating galore so the girls have got their claws out and it's like hell for the guys now the world there yeah, this is a uh, emmanuel kachi the world population is now 7.7 .7 billion interesting so now now, this is now really one of the more interesting parts of data data that we've just read because the world population is now growing and the projection is the projection rather is to is to is, is that it's going to continue to grow and grow and expand hitting 10 million by at uh, 2 100 uh, by 2100 i'm not quite sure how we're timing data will be long dead by then anyway so but the thing is though this is a cause for concern because if we look at nigeria and we use nigeria as a microcosm of uh, the global experience then if you look at the pressure on land in Nigeria that is now leading to all these communal clashes that we're hearing with waters drying up in the Sahel region and people having to move further into the hin interland with the uh, cattle herders heading towards uh, the southern part and the southerners resisting them and human lives being lost so if you now see this repeat glo repeating globally because the growth in population does not marry with growth in resources because the the global resources the global land mass is finite the livable part of the global land mass is also finite and the human population is infinite because we continue to recreate and procreate and create more and more and more people and there's only so much number of land that can be uh, that is uh, habitable and that can be lived on and can that can sustain the human life so you can see now where the pressure is going to be over the coming decades uh, for for not just Nigeria but for the rest of the world and Nigeria already they are already projecting 450 million people within the next 50 years or so so you can just begin to believe and best believe that it's going to be hell on earth if nobody does something about this and obviously the man that we have there at the moment is not anybody to do anything about anything but this is really the figures that are now emerging on the global scene the uh, global population which we have all always been of the mind that is weighted heavily to the women being the ones that are had the larger numbers but it looks as though now that the man actually the men rather actually outnumber the women but they've not actually given us the percentage terms yet so we're not actually uh, knowing yet what percentage we're talking about so if it's like a uh, uh, 48 52 then whatever but i'm imagining it will be in those margins in those regions regions 45 55 no, no definitely no more than 60 40 it cannot be and that really surprises me also because really every naming ceremony or every other naming ceremony that you go to these days is always a daughter you know people have daughters and daughters and daughters and daughters and daughters so really then you begin to speculate that there are more women really than there are men but now according to this united nations report it looks as though that is actually a fallacy that is just a figment of the imagination or maybe that's just a male fantasy to imagine that there are more women to go around than there are men then you have a, the peak of the girls but that now looks like it not being the case so now but then again i've always been a bit dubious about all these uh, united nations statistics because it's usually based on projection and a lot of projections that they come up with the united nations is not often always accurate and it's not often always the experience that you find on the ground but these are the statistics now these are the data coming out that there are actually more women that, that there are actually more men rather than there are women you see even in my mind is still is still not calibrating yet but, but there are actually more more men than there are women is the, is the new information that is now emerging and the nigerian male now has to now re, re, realign his thinking if he thinks he gets the peak and the girls now are now threatening to take multiple husbands so let's see what a few more people have to say anonymous ha 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 and you can already tell who
who the, who, what gender this person is or who, what gender is speaking just from their comment so this one is anonymous but i haven't read the comment yet but if as we read the comment you would know immediately what gender this person falls under so anonymous ha 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 men want to peace themselves no more men are scared so to pressure women into marrying them ha 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 so that is immediately tells you that that's almost likely to be a female so this is Juliet Iwono they're definitely a female only one comment he 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 so the girls are just giving us a real kicking on this one anonymous men outnumber women fine but i still like six women friends that means i am making ladies uh, scars for other men interesting so this one is not trying to big himself up he probably doesn't have a girlfriend i don't think anybody that feels the need to say that then you can see that he's trying to compensate for something but somebody is quick to respond to him or uh, well him he has to be then uh, so let's see now what this person has to say anonymous those your six girlfriends have three boyfriends each excluding you don't be feeling special low most people are sharing these days including the married ones it's a shame and this really is the experience that is now the contemp the contemporary uh, uh, experience this is really now what is going on globally especially within the nigerian scene within the nigerian scene uh the, a, a lot of uh even even within marriage marriage settings a lot of uh, married people have uh, uh multiple partners now the nigerian male is always has always been known for philandering you know has been a player especially the yorubas etc yoruba demons and all that but even the nigerian female in a marriage setting is also having a substitute bench of at least one or two this is really just what is going on but is the in in in, in yoruba they say Bubu waluli, money bawa barawo. these people will come clean cut to church but then they've got a uh, some pencil trousered boy in the background that is uh, doing the necessary when the husband is off to uh, chase contract in Abuja or whatever this is just the template of the times that we live in but now this justification is now here more uh, more more men than there are women so the women now are now threatening us with uh, multiple husbands of but of course that's against our tradition so we know they say that in jest but now, now that uh, men are scarce so that uh, they used to intimidate girls i think that's now been snatched from our hands well, hopefully this uh this uh, information doesn't circulate too widely but i'm pretty sure it will but now the tables are turned the girls are fighting back conversations in the comment section is what i am inviting the men outnumber the women globally so what say you and men what is our take on this how do we realign and readjust and re-strategize so comments in the comment section from your gender perspective perspective uh, but, we, but, we, but before rather you come uh, leave your comments in the comment section click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button that way you're notified every time i drop a new video then come tell me what your gender bias is in the comment section so i'll leave you here meet you there but here i say peace